explain how to export music from Logic, Freddy Loops, Cubase, Reason to Option Script. And unfortunately, there is no easy way to do that. I mean, all these programs use hardware acceleration, they have very complicated instruments, sophisticated effects, and all we can do is just export them as they are in small samples, small waveforms that we can use in Flash. So once we have created all these samples, we need to make a MIDI file that will tell us how to reproduce the song in Flash, uh, how to play these samples. The most important thing when we are creating MIDI files is how to record the messages. I was actually thinking of making an interface where I can just um, easily drag with the mouse on notes and just make my own MIDI file in that way, but at the end I thought this was completely a waste of time and I mean, we have these um, MIDI controllers like this keyboard, pedals, uh, some devices that can help us a lot to do these kind of things. Um, there is no way to communicate your MIDI controller with Flash. I mean, you have to use something in between. What people are doing out there is just uh, they create their own host that receive all the messages from the MIDI controller and they, they communicate it to Flash using TCP IP or something like that, sockets or local connection. The problem of that is the latency. We need to record things in real time. Um, that is, 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 is the, main, the main issue. So, because I think that using your mouse for recording these MIDI files, I mean bit by bit, um, is a completely waste of time. So, I'm going to focus 100% on how to do it in Freddy Loops. Why Freddy Loops? Because it's a very, very easy software and it's easy to explain. And, I personally prefer Cubase, I do everything in Cubase, but Freddy Loops is a good software. So let's try to do it. So what I have done is I have loaded this uh, node A4. Um, in Freddy Loops, that is the same waveforms that I load in Flash, and I change the pitch of it for generating the rest of the nodes. So it is really small, it's four kilobytes or something. In Freddy Loops, we can just record all the MIDI messages That's all. So we now got our MIDI file. Let's load it in Flash with the waveform. So here we are in Friday Loops. These are all the messages I sent from my MIDI controller. And this is how it sounds like. Um, are just recording with different velocity and then how it sounds in flash when it loads the same MIDI file I mean I export this as a MIDI file and load it in flash is this one here Yeah, the reason why it sounds um, a little bit different is because of the compression that I use on the, in, in, the way, in the waveform and also is um, it's an, I'm taking care in my program when the, the MIDI node is released I mean when you press it and when you release it I just stop uh, processing the, the, the sample you can take a look inside the source code of all these I mean how my program works, um, just download the source code from my website. So now you may be wondering what happens when you use multiple channels and the answer is it behaves exactly the same. I mean, um, the polyphony affects your performance, of course, you have to generate all this dynamic audio in Flash, but it's not as much as you think it is. I mean, 
it only takes 5% from my CPU time. Just take a look on how it works in your computer. It's not CPU intensive, it's really, really, really low. I mean, 5%, 10% of it means that you have the rest of the CPU time for your main application, your game or whatever you're doing. Um, I got an example here using multiple channels because the previous example was just one single sample, one channel, and let's take a look on it. It's really interesting. Um, I have done this song in Friday Loops. It didn't take me long, just about 15, 20 minutes. Um, this is uh, to demonstrate how the multiple channels uh, works. Um, so in this song, um, I got 10 channels, right, um, for each waveform. And it's really interesting at the end here, you can see I got two channels for the Rhodes piano. And it's because I create one channel for the minor chords and another channel uh, for using a waveform with the major chords. So at the end I just use it um, in different times. Um, it's really interesting how it works because the quality that I have at this moment in Friday Loops um, is almost the same that I got in Flash. Um, once I export all the, the um, uh, samples and I generate the MIDI file of this, this is, the, this is my Flash application. This is how it sounds like. So I got all the channels here, right? I got the rod is telling me when I'm using one, when I'm using the other one. So, so now it's the rod is one that is a, it's a minor chord, minor chord again. It's a major chord now. That flute is the most expensive uh, sample I got. It's a waveform, I think it's a 250 kilobytes or something like that. The rest of the instruments are really small. But yeah, that is the concept, that, that is how it works and, and it's quite interesting. It's only 400 kilobytes and you can basically make your own song that is, um, I don't know, say 10 minutes, 20 minutes uh, playing completely random melodies. Uh, uh, it's not just a loop, right? Another very interesting practice was uh, making a Guitar Hero game. Um, it is really interesting because um, in this example I don't use my samples at all. I just use the MIDI messages for synchronizing the music with the colors of the notes when they are just um, coming down. Uh, let me just show you in Friday Loops uh, how it looks like. Um, I got here in the in, in the timeline, just the whole mp3 file, right? This is how it sounds like. Uh, it was a song I did uh, in 2003, I think. Um, uh, using the guitar and other things. Uh, the thing is that uh, these are just the colors, I mean, which notes I have to play. This is uh, green, red, uh, red um, orange, blue. And I'm just synchronizing the timeline with with the music. So I got the MIDI messages, I got the timeline, I got just all the colors synchronized with the music, and, and, and that's all. It was even even easier for me doing this program. Um, let me just show you how it it looks like in my program. So I got here the bass. The guitar is now the drums are coming. It is very interesting because in this program. Um, I changed completely the way how um, the animation works. Um, in this program, the, 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 the animation is, uh, I mean, the sound is relying on the animation, which means if the frame rate of this, 
just uh, goes down to say 10 frames per second or even less um, it will cut the music it, it is a hundred percent working um, synchronized with the animation in my other examples it was always the the audio um, having priority on top of the animation but this one here is completely the other way around so it's, it's very interesting how it works um, guys this is everything I have to say for now uh, thank you very much um, just feel free to ask me whatever you want see you next time man. see you